Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you how I recreated this using a light motion. Here I have created another version. Just observe the cursor. Okay friends, let's make it. Here I have these vector images of cursors and the cable. DM me for these files if you want. Let's hide them for a couple of minutes. Let's add a circle shape. Now go to colors and select no fill to this shape. Now enable stroke. Change the stroke color to white and adjust the width as shown. Let's decrease the scale a little bit. Now change the position. Let's place it here. Now add your text. Let's keep the text here. Now create two more circles and two more texts and arrange them as shown in the video. Now add the rounded rectangle shape. Tap on the edit shape and adjust the size as shown. Now go to colors and select no fill to this shape. Now enable stroke. Change the stroke color to white and adjust the width as shown. Now extend all these layers duration to five seconds. Let's unhide the cable layer. Now reposition it as shown. Let's duplicate it. Now select the duplicate one and rename it as Cable 3. Now adjust the rotation to 90 degrees. Now reposition it as shown. Let's duplicate it one more time. Now flip it vertically. Rename it as Cable 1. Now reposition it as shown. Let me rename it as Cable 2. Now bring the cursor layer to top of the all layers. Let's unhide it. Let's decrease the scale a little bit. Let's keep it here for a moment. Now bring it here. Let's match the size of this cursor to previous cursor. Now select this cursor, place it here. Now add a position keyframe here. Move 25 frames forward and add another one. Now at the first keyframe, change the cursor position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now select the hand cursor layer and add the scale keyframe at the first frame. Move five frames forward and add another one. Again, move five frames forward and add another one. Now at the middle keyframe, decrease the cursor size as shown. Now we have the click animation. Now at the last scale keyframe, trim it. Let's trim this layer here. Now bring this layer here. Now reposition it as shown. Now duplicate this cursor layer. Move it here. Let's remove the keyframes. Now add a position keyframe here. Move to the last frame and change the cursor position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now duplicate the click animation layer. Move it here. Now reposition it as shown. Now duplicate this layer one more time. Move it here. At the first keyframe, Keep the cursor position on the second circle. At this keyframe, keep the cursor position on the third circle. Now duplicate the click animation layer. Move it here. Now reposition it as shown. Now duplicate this layer one more time. Move it here. Let's remove the keyframes. Now extend this layer duration. Now add a position keyframe here. Move 20 frames forward and change the cursor position as shown. Again, move 20 frames forward and change the cursor position as shown. Now trim it here. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now duplicate the click animation layer. Move it here.
Now duplicate this layer one more time. Move it here. Let's remove the keyframes. Before doing anything, let me extend these layers duration first. Now here add the position keyframe. Move to the last frame and change the cursor position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now we have something like this. Let's play with the keyframe curves for better animation. Now at this frame, add the Vector Drawing tool and draw a shape like the tick mark. Now go to Colors and select No Fill to this shape. Now enable Stroke, change the Stroke color, and adjust the width. Drag it down. Let's trim it here. Now apply the Drawing Progress effect to this layer. At the first frame of this layer, add the End keyframe. Move here and add one more. Now at the first keyframe, decrease the end value to 0%. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. The animation is too fast, let's make it a little slower. Simply move this keyframe little forward. Yeah, now it's perfect. Let's extend this layer duration. Now at this frame, add the start keyframe. Move to the last frame and increase the start value to 100%. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now duplicate it. Drag it down. Move it here. Now reposition it as shown. Again, duplicate it. Drag it down. Move it here. Now reposition it as shown. Now when the first click animation starts, add a mark here. Now move 15 frames forward and add another mark. Now at the first mark, add the position keyframe to cable 1 layer. Move to the second mark and change the cable 1 position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now make the same animation to the cable 2 layer also. Now when the second click animation starts, add a mark here. Now move 15 frames forward and add another mark. Now at this mark, add the position keyframe to cable 1 layer. Move to this mark and change the position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now at the third mark, add the position keyframe to the cable 3 layer. Move to this mark and change the cable position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now at the third click animation starts, add a mark there. Now move 15 frames forward and add another mark. Now at this mark, add the position keyframe to cable 2 layer. Move to this mark and change the cable position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now add position keyframe to the cable 1 layer. Move to this mark and change the cable position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now when the last click animation starts, add a mark there. Now move 15 frames forward and add another mark. Now at this mark, add the position keyframe to cable 1 layer. Move to this mark and change the cable position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now at this mark, add the position keyframe to the third cable layer. Move to this mark and change the cable position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now we have something like this. Let's play with the keyframe curves for a better animation.
Yeah, it's way better than previous one. Now duplicate the this text layer. Let's drag it to top. Now edit this text as time. Let's place it here. Now add a circle shape. Adjust it as shown. Let's extend this layer duration. Now select these two layers and group them. Now create two more texts like this. Now select this text layer and parent it with the Cable 2 layer. Now parent this layer to the Cable 3 layer. This one with the Cable 1 layer. Now these text layers are following the cables layers. Now add a rectangle shape. Adjust it as shown. Now go to colors and select gradient color for this shape. Here select any favorite color of yours and adjust the gradient as shown. Now apply the wave warp effect to this shape layer. Here keep the magnitude value to 0.5%. Before playing with other values, let me extend this layer duration. At the first frame of this layer, add the phase keyframe. Move to the last frame and increase the phase value to 5%. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now drag it under the rounded rectangle layer. Before doing anything, let's remove these marks first. At this frame, my cable's animation starts. So I'm going to add the position keyframe here to this shape layer. For that, I added mark here. I will add the position keyframe later. Let's add one more mark here. Let's keep it here. Now add a position keyframe here. Now move to the second mark and change the shape position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now when the second click animation starts, add a mark here. Now move 15 frames forward and add another mark. Now at this mark, add the position keyframe to shape layer. Move to the second mark and change the shape position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now add a mark here. Move 15 frames forward and add another mark. Now at this mark, add the position keyframe to shape layer. Move to the second mark and change the shape position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now add a mark here. Move 15 frames forward and add another mark. Now at this mark, add the position keyframe to shape layer. Move to the second mark and change the shape position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now apply the hue shift effect to this shape layer. Let's remove this marks. When the cursor comes at the adult text, add the hue shift keyframe to the shape layer. At that frame, move to next keyframe and adjust the hue shift value as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now when the cursor comes at the old text layer, add the hue shift keyframe at that frame. Move to next keyframe and adjust the hue shift value as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now here, add the hue shift keyframe, move to next keyframe and adjust the hue shift value as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now duplicate the rounded rectangle shape layer. Select second rectangle layer, go to colors and enable the color and disable the stroke. Now decrease the size of this shape layer a little bit as shown in the video. Now select these two layers and tap on the masking icon for masking. Now we have something like this. Let's create glow effect. Select all layers and group them. Now duplicate this layer. Select first layer and apply the Gaussian blur effect to it. Now play with the blur strength. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If enjoyed the video, 
please hit the like button and subscribe our channel for more videos like this. Also comment below who's editing you want to recreate next.